Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the procedural building generator PBG2 to generate unlimited buildings, types and shapes and finally export as FBX with materials texture. Let's have a look. This is a procedural building generator too and it is really easy for use in the blender and it is one of an add-on a blender. It is a pet add-on. You can create any type of the houses. And the first step, you can just scroll down, go to my video description, and then get a procedural building generator. And always remember, this procedural building generator is a pet plugin, and I will choose this. Once you already done the purchase, then you are going to download it as a zip folder, like this. So now you have to just right-click and extract all. And extract it. This is the content that you are going to edit into the blender. So now you can see I already extracted it and then the first step I'm going to close off the blender and I open blender 2.6. The first step is to install the assets Now, the Blender 3.6 is successfully launched and the first step, just press A to delete everything and next, click the Edit Preferences then, under the, the far path here, just click Plus to add the assets just now, it is on my desktop this folder, PBG to Base Plus History just double click it and then click Add Asset Library then close it next, move your mouse, mouse cursor to here and drag it to the left hand side and click here to check the asset browser now just have a look all of the assets are here now you can see so start from now I'm going to show you step by step how to use all of this to, to just create any of the buildings that you want and finally export it uh, as FBX with material textures so now, so now I'm going to show you one more demo and after this, we are going to export it as FBX. I press A. To be very quick, move my mouse cursor here. Once you already install it, click here. Then, go to the asset browser. All of this is still here. This is a new Windows. So I click Add. To be very quick, add a mesh, add a cube. Then go to the edit mode. Then click here and press A. You can select all of the faces and press G. You can move it, but you press G. You can lift it up to make sure it is at at the top here. You press S to make it bigger. At the same time here. So now I'm going to apply one of it. For example, this half timber. Then turn on the texture check the modifier you can deactivate it anytime so now I use a loop cut as just now just use a loop cut then select and choose the move I click here this is actually exactly the edge that I'm going to leave it up now have a look it is really quick I click here to select the face then I press E to extrude, it is going to extrude new ones. Then I, I click here, I can select the edge. I press E to extrude and I press Y to extrude along the Y axis. Then I can move it in this way. So I click here and press E to extrude, I press Y. And then just leave it down like this. So, it is very quick, if you want to export as FBX, you have to back to the layout mode. Then, make sure it is on the object mode, object mode under the layout here. Then click convert to mesh, you drag and drop convert to mesh. Then right click it, convert to a mesh. Then, just back to the material, you go to the UV editing. 
and then you find out which material are you using. It should be this, right? Under the diffuse, just check the diffuse and make sure you export this out. Click image, save as, and then I'm going to save it on my desktop. I name this as texture 02. Click save the image as, then back to the layout. Then go to the material, just delete everything from here. Just minus it to make sure you delete all of the material. Then click plus new. Under the base color, click here, image texture. And then just open the texture just now. This is the texture 02. Now you can see all of the texture already come back. And then at this moment, you can just export it out as FBX file. But before you export it, make sure the bottom is on the top here. You move it up like this. Then click File, Export, FBX. We only want to export the selected object. We only want this. This is the selected object. Then the path mode, choose copy and just turn this on. This is to make sure all of the texture embedded inside the FBX file. Then export it on my desktop. I will just name this as building 02. I click export FBX. Now have a check. Check everything. The building 02, it is at here. If I double click, it is going to open by using the Microsoft 3D Viewer to have a look. You can see exactly this whole building already exported as FBX file. It is really awesome. Now, at this moment, we can just test by using the third party software, for example, the Icon, the Icon 3D Exchange 7, just a random random 3D software to just have a look whether it works or it doesn't work. I just drag in and have a look. Yes, now you can see this, this 3D models that you generated just by using the procedural building generator too that already exported as FPX that you can use it in any other 3D software you can also use it like in iClone, Unreal Engine, Unity, all of these game engines and make it become a game asset. It is really easy. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on about the procedural building generator, how to create a building just in minutes and then finally export it as FBX with material texture embedded inside the FBX. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!